What, the, you know one thing I don't like that I, I wish we would change? But I, I don't like how we use the word marriage to begin with. I would rather us use the word nikah. Because the, the thing, a nikah can be exactly what a traditional American, you know, non-Muslim version of marriage is. Or it could be your girlfriend. It could be a side joint. It could be it could be a whole bunch of different things because it's actually a contract that two people decide to come up with. And I don't think that every person married should look the same or it needs to look the same. But some some of the women, they think that this is what marriage is. Marriage is like... The traditional. The traditional, you know, we need to have... We either... You go to work. Come yeah, home, yeah. And, and, and because they have that... that, that, that that idea they had, that's when they can't accept things like polygyny. They can't accept, you know, two people who don't live together. They they don't they they don't want to accept it. And not that a brother should for because you shouldn't force that. But if two people agree on whatever their situation is, and as long as it's halal, then it should be accepted. But what happens? You start having these expectations now. Like we're we're in a real crisis now. Like we talk about this at our man said all the time. Me and I mean how we there aren't enough. There never have been enough brothers for the women anyway. But now, because of incarceration, because of homosexuality, then if we want to keep going, if you want to go into what kind of Muslim you want, if you want a Salafi or somebody who's not Salafi, now you narrowing all your your criteria down. And you have a really small pool of brothers and a whole bunch of women, don't matter what kind of community you come from, you're going to have to, like, if you truly want to get married, and if your intention is a fair law, then you're going to have to accept the reality of this. There's not enough men for that. Now, here's the thing I've been seeing a lot on, on Facebook. Women saying, well, I'll take a non-Muslim and I'll convert him, and I'll make him the way that I want to make him, and then I'll marry him. But that's and, not a guarantee. It's not. That's not it's a not at all. That's a, that's a roll of the dice. But going back to your point about polygyny, uh, I mean, to some degree, I understand where you're coming from. However, I, I think that the non-acceptance of polygyny amongst Muslim women, I, just from, from my perspective... There's no need to be dirty. I just think that the way that the brothers go about it, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I remember distinctly when I was looking for marriage, and I led with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is when polygyny wasn't even popping like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about like 2000, 2001, 99, 2001. I led with that. Listen, let me tell you, I am not a one woman's man from the door. I'm letting you know that. So if that's not where you want to be, then, you know, just kind of keep it moving and mm -hmm. let me marry someone who is willing to accept that from the very beginning. I'm not saying that we're going to be in polygyny tomorrow. We're going to be in polygyny next year. But at some point, it will happen. Mm -hmm. And I think when you lead with that type of transparency, as a matter of fact, women actually respect that. Mm -hmm. That's called putting your cards on the team. Right. From the very beginning. It shows a boldness. Women are actually attracted to that, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. Women actually find that sexy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Women actually find because you a G about it. You're not going, nah, you know, I know one brother, he was like, you know, he told his wife from the door, oh, I would never go into polygyny. I never wanted a second wife. And, you know, lo and behold, three, four, five years into their marriage, you know, you contacting women, you know, especially women that she knows, which is another problem. Like, yes. the way that they are going about it is just, is just corny. And that is what is one of the biggest turnoffs. I, I personally believe, and I'm not tooting my own horn, I personally believe if I was single right now, I don't think that there is a woman who, if I wanted her and she wanted to be with me, except that she would accept polygyny. Mm -hmm. Not just because of who I am, but just because that's what my hand calls for. If it's just me and you in a relationship, that ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm an introvert at heart. I don't like to be around people. Sometimes I don't like to be around my own kids. You know what I'm saying? So, we need time. I need time to miss you. That's the only way our situation is gonna work. And believe it or not, I don't believe that my marriage of 20 years would have lasted that long had it not been for polygyny. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not built like that. And there are some men that are just not built for that. This whole idea of monogamy, it's not natural. It's not, it's not natural. Mm -hmm. 
This is something that has been superimposed on us. Our ancestors, you know, where we come from, whether Native American or African, none of them engaged in monogamy. None of them. You know, most most mammals don't only like penguins, like animals and stuff. It's like penguins and there's another... But I think one of the, <laughs> one, one of the most key important things that people miss is polygyny is it's not just a... It's not just a right that the brother has. It's also a remedy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Correct the thing. Ooh, talk about society. it. Yeah. Talk yeah. about it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And talk about it. That's the point we miss. Now, I find in our community in particular, um, I know a lot of sisters that was married for 16, 20 years, and their husband wanted to take on another wife. Mm -hmm. They had a problem with it. You, you talk about your love. Uh -huh. <laughs> you talking about you? No, 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 no. I'm real okay, I thought you were no, personalizing the conversation. No, no, not me. I'm 30 in. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? No, no, not me. No, this is real talk. And they end up getting a divorce. Building a brother 16, 20, some odd years. So they end up getting a divorce. So now the same sister, because she was looking good when she was younger. Mm -hmm. She's, oh, not me, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can always get another brother. Now, she comes to me, she's willing to accept religion. Mm -hmm. Because by default. But now she's saying, now the sisters are saying now, you know, I wish I wouldn't have let my husband go and I wish I would have been more patient. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but that's only through trial and error. Yeah. Cause she see the grass ain't always green on the other side. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not only that, but if, if 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 a man sincerely, let me just let you let women in, your women viewers in on a little tip. If and I'm not talking about men who just like to slay women, just run through the women. I'm talking about a man who sincerely is looking for the whole polygynous experience, you know, to marry a woman, you know, take care of her, right. her children, and you know, have the whole, you know. The, the whole polygynous experience. When you allow that to happen, you allow him to do that, you don't ever have to worry about him cheating on you. Exactly. My wife, as a, she, they don't ever have to worry about me cheating because I know that the door for that conversation is always open. So anytime I see something that I want and I go and I say, hey, babe, um, I think we need to have a conversation about polygyny. The first thing is, who is she? Because their concern is what we've invested in, I'm not having somebody come in and destroy that. Exactly. Their first their first line of defense is to protect what we've already invested in. Not to protect their emotions. They're, they understand that that's a process. You know, I'm look along. That's a process that they're gonna have to deal with regardless. Yeah. You're gonna have to deal with that regardless. But the first thing is that that door of communication is open. I never have to sneak. I never, and that doesn't mean that I don't get resistance. You're going to get resistance. You know, um, can we afford it right now? You know, I don't think we're ready right now. Well, well, you're going to get the resistance, but the resistance will never be to the point where you cannot do it. And if you do it, I'm out. Yeah. You understand yeah. that I don't you don't get that type of resistance because they already knew coming into the situation that that is who I am. And that's what you're walking into. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of time, circumstance. It might not ever happen. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see that in my near future at this point. But I'm just saying, they know that that is always an option on the table if I decide to go that route. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't ever have to worry about me sneaking around. You don't ever have to worry about me cheating. You don't ever have to worry about me communicating with women because I know that if that's something that I decide I want to do, I have two women that I can go have that conversation. And that's going to help me filter my decision. Yeah. But most brothers don't live up to the responsibility. Like that's what I'm like talking about. Yeah, yeah, right. the, you know, you know, we a lot of brothers try to kind these sisters into what they you up, you know. Yeah, that's what they mess up. Because I, I ain't asking why I do nothing. Yeah. And that's the thing. And, and as I said before, <laughs> I, got a brother now, I got a situation there, right now. Mm -hmm. Brother want to take on two wives. Well, he can't even afford the Matter of fact, the yeah. one he has is holding him down. Yeah, and that, he don't got no business doing it. You know what I mean? The one he got is holding him down. Because yeah. she made more than him. He, he don't mind paying, but she, she makes double what he made. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I had a brother, a so, friend of mine, I mean, like, and, and before, like younger brothers, when they ask him, they got like young families, and, and they, oh, you know, I think I'm, I'm like, bro, you don't got the time right now. Like, you just don't got the money, 
all the time. You got a bunch of kids. You need to, yeah. even if your wife is cool with it, you need to wait until your kids are a little bit older and you can afford to be away from them. It's like, if you don't really got the money and you don't have even the time in with your wife, that, that's the, one of the mistakes that's I made. Thing. You gotta that's another thing. That's that one of the mistakes I made. I, I, you got to build. You got to yeah. build something first. Foundation. They're looking strong. for. And I'm yeah. not talking about just financial stability. They're looking for emotional Most stability. Mm -hmm. They're looking to build the relationship with you. That is. That will be the foundation. That in the event that her emotions or feelings are hurt or jealousies arise, she can always go back to that hustle. She can always go back to that foundation of I know my husband loves me. We've been here. We've done that. We've been, you know what I mean? Like she can go back to her Rolodex of shared experiences to kind of help deal with some of those insecurities that, that are always going to pop up. But if you marry, I know brothers, man, subhanAllah, who was marrying, I know a brother who was marrying his first wife and was going to marry his second wife days after he married. He's going to marry two at one time. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is that you marry two at one time, you don't have an opportunity to establish anything with anybody. You don't want a big It problem. takes twice as long when you marry two at one time than it does marrying one, building five year relationship, and then marrying another one because now you got a five year relationship investment. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, one of the biggest mistakes is, and I can tell you from experience not to do that crap because you don't be thinking ahead when it's time for your anniversary and then that day days away from each other. You just ask them ahead. You know what I mean? Or if it's a month away or two. Like, one, you might not have the money to go spend on both at that time. Two, you don't want them in each other's business making making a mess. But see, so. you can't have it both ways. Earlier you said, hmm? you said you rather call it nikah rather than marriage. No, right? look. I'm sure look, you, look, look, look. You said earlier that you would rather call it nikah instead of marriage. You know, because Nika is a contract, right? Remember you said that? Yeah, man. I'm man. Just you what I'm... But what I'm saying is, well, when you start talking about anniversaries and stuff, you talk about that's the traditional, traditional marriage. marriage. Right. It's going to happen. Regardless. That's the traditional way. What, what, what I mean by, not that I don't believe in calling a marriage, I don't believe. You're just saying, no, 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 no. Is a broader spectrum. Exactly. And no, I have to. That's I what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. translation. When, you... when, I, when, I, when I was learning fit, right? And when I actually, when I went through the Book of Marriage, I went through this like 10 times. And I when, read, I read I, <laughs> yeah, I you like But it. when I actually saw the translation for it, what it means, what just like the brother Shadid said, it's a broader, it covers a broader it's a, range it's a of broad things brush. Of, of, of relationships. So. It, it can be whatever you decide, right. you and your wife decide to make it. But in, in no, I was just, my, my, my point actually was to show how, even though we Muslims, yeah, we the, still want all the traditional numbers. way mm -hmm. of America's style marriages or concepts still creep in into our stuff. Into yeah, our see, stuff. Yeah, see, right. and, and and that's a major problem. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's a major problem because if they don't have the also the foundation, your foundation is your Islamic belief. We have a belief system, we it's set up a certain way. We do it like this, we do it like that. Not say things as time change, things do change, not saying that. But I'm just saying that once you understand your foundation and what your foundation is based upon, like a lot of American stuff shouldn't be a major factor in our relationship. You know why though? Here's, and here's what I learned for myself. If your foundation has to include taqwa, because if you if you fear a law, then you're not gonna have them issues. But that's the with, key to the game. It is. But the, 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 what I learned being on both sides of it, right? Because I had a wife that wasn't going for nothing, and then I had a wife that was like, "Look, whatever we doing, don't you feel along with it, right?" And then, mm. not that the other one was wrong, she just didn't get to that level of maturity that the other one got to at the same time. So what I learned was like, "Yo, if you." If you love a person and you you really concerned about like their actual like their accurate, right? Then <laughs> you gotta be patient with them, right? It just for me it got to a point where I'm being patient, 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 but then after a while it was like they kept talking and talking and after a while I said, Alright, go ahead then. 
Because if it start if it start messing up what I'm trying to do for my own self, for my own soul, then it's it's gonna be a real problem. We mm-hmm. both gonna be messed up. You know what I mean? So, but I still make do out for all, all three nights. I still pray for him and hope that <laughs> I, I do.